Hey guys, and welcome back to Urbex, and welcome to Akron, Ohio. Behind me is an abandoned Eaton Park. I love this restaurant. They are very popular over in the Pittsburgh area, and they've got a few of them around Ohio, but this one back here is completely abandoned. So let's go check it out on today's episode. Wow, this one is so abandoned, they've even taken the signs down. But I know that this is an Eaton Park just by the design of the restaurant itself. Well, there's a look inside your Eaton Park here in Akron, Ohio. This is right by the Chapel Hill Mall. Well, it says after 25 years, we are closing our doors February 17th at 2 p.m. I don't know what year that was. I would imagine it was not that long ago. Wow, look at that. That's a pretty cool um, bakery counter where they would have had all the desserts, the pies and stuff. Well, there's what's left of your Eaton Park sign. Not much to see. It's still got most of the wiring in it, but. Wow, this was a really big Eaton Park. I don't remember them being this big, but it's been a while since I've been to one. Um, I know I've been to a couple of them that were over in the Pittsburgh area. Look, they even left all the trays stacked up there. And yeah, none of the signs are left here. They're all gone. But definitely that sign shape also is, um, reminds me of Eaton Park because that's exactly what this was. Uh, there's an even better look at the inside of your Eaton Park here. Yeah, I'd say it's in, still in pretty good condition. I'll have to try and see if I can figure out when this one actually closed. Well, you can kind of see inside there. Just a little bit. It looks like it's still in pretty good condition. Well, this would have been your drive through window and it says, thanks for coming, keep on smiling. Um, for those of you that aren't familiar with Eaton Park, uh, they're well known for their smiley face cookies or the different cookies they have throughout the year. I think they do, if I remember right, they'll do like pumpkins at Halloween and Santa for Christmas or something like that. I don't know if you can see that, but look at that, there's, oh yeah, there's stairs. Since when does Eaton Park have stairs? Wow, look at that old school security camera. And this one was open 24 seven. A lot of the Eaton parks were open 24 seven, especially the ones right off the highway where truckers and stuff could stop for it, you know, or if you're on a road trip. Well, hey guys, welcome back to another episode of The Traveling Man, where this time the Eaton Park isn't closed or abandoned. I'm in Youngstown, Ohio right now, and we're gonna check this one out. Uh, so join me on today's episode. All right, just like all the other restaurants I've been to lately, uh, Eaton Park is doing paper menus. So that way they don't have to wipe off their regular menus. And there's a look at the menu. There's the, the front side, and then there's the other side, which has breakfast and des um, desserts and all that stuff. All right, I got the um, cheese sticks, mozzarella sticks, and the Saratoga chips, these are homemade Saratoga chips with ranch and barbecue sauce. Saratoga chips, let's see. Well, they're kind of crispy. They're not, they don't look crispy, but they definitely are. I was expecting them to be kind of floppy and soggy, but nope, let's try it with some of this barbecue sauce. Mmm, ooh. That is a very good barbecue sauce. It's um, got a kick to it, but it's sweet. Oh yeah, right, I forgot. I forgot, I gotta tell you what the Saratoga chip is like. It's very crunchy and it's got nice flavor to it. Especially with the barbecue sauce on it. <coughs> Whoa! <coughs> Excuse me, I think I swallowed my barbecue sauce raw. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, okay, I wanted to try the ranch now. 
Here's the ranch. It looks nice and creamy. Mmm. That's a good ranch because it's not over sickeningly um, sour or whatever you want to say. It's not over sickeningly rich. That's what I was get, wanted to say. It's not too rich. All right. Okay. We have to do mozzarella sticks next. In the, uh, they got this like pizza sauce. Watch me burn my dumb ass because they're probably boiling inside or something. Ah, that light is annoying from the window. There we go. That's better exposure. Mm hmm That's a really good piece of sauce or marinara sauce, and these are good cheese sticks. Eaton Park. That was some good eating. Mmm. Like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next video, everyone. Bye.